Good morning. We got the graft into Inverell today. We're just going to go inside and uh, just see how everyone's feeling. We'll just give a one word descriptor, see how everyone's going. Jade. Relaxed. Yeah. Tired. <laughs> Good. Get pumped. Um, Sharp. Relaxed. Grueling. Head. That's the one word. Okay. <laughs> okay. We've gone off topic, yeah, but uh, off topic. good to know, Andrew. Thank you. I'm very nervous. That's that's two. That'll do. <laughs> Alright, so we're at the start line of the graft to Inverell. Now, it's 230 kilometres, so it's an extremely long race. So, as you can imagine, nutrition is absolutely paramount. Now, we're lucky enough to have a nutrition sponsor, Isoway Sports. Uh, let's go down to Pat Shaw, who's done more long races than anyone in the team, and uh, see how you prepare for such a tough and long event. As everyone knows, Isoway Sports sponsors us, and we've got the best nutrition. We start out by hydrating the best we possibly can with a coconut based uh, isotonic. Uh, it's been very good for us, especially in the hot weather, and we will reach that today after some chilly weather in Victoria. Uh, energy bars are going to be crucial early in the race, um, unless the real pressure's on. And if the pressure's on early, don't have time to chew that bar. I'm going to be calling on these bad boys the Mocha Tropical. They're really good. Um, the mocha has a little bit of caffeine in it as well, so that keeps you alert, especially later in the race. But uh, combined these three and the fluid today, we should su succeed at the finish by being fueled better than the rest. Very good. And how much do you actually take with you, Pat? Do you take enough for the entire race, or what do you do there? Uh, I'm going to start with six gels, and I actually start with four bars, but I carry bars as well in case a teammate drops one. Um, but I'd probably consume all of that and then probably grab some more from the vehicle around the 200k point just for that last 50k's, 40k's of the race ready to um, really hit the line still pedalling hard. That's a lot of food. Thanks Pat. Alright so we're here on board with Pat Shaw throughout the Grafton to Inverell so we've got a bit of footage from inside the race. So the team plan was to get uh, one of three riders, or potentially all of them, depending on how big the break got, um, into the break. So Pat Shaw, Pat Lane, and Sam Chrome. As it turned out, uh, there was a group of 10 that went, and we landed the two Pats in that move, which we were really happy with, because both Pats, very crafty riders, very uh, very savvy in small groups. So it was, uh, it was looking fairly good from the start. Andrew was constantly going up and back all day giving us updates on how they felt and yeah they were feeling pretty good but before the break went we've got a bit of footage here for a bit of a uh, bit of a crash that happened so a few people sort of go down here and you can also see Matt Clark he's uh, lost his way he's in the bushes in the right so Pat knows Matt so he sort of gives him a bit of a hand up here uh, so there we go this is just as the brakes establishing uh, the main feature of the day is this Gibraltar climb. So it lasts about 40 minutes. So it's about averaging about 5% and it's a brutal climb. This is where a lot of the race splits up. So here we've got Pat Shaw contending for that King of the Mountains. He's just opened up his sprint there against Jason Lee from Physio Health. You can see in the shadow he's looking around, making sure that he's not going to get rolled at the last minute. Takes the KOM points. So meanwhile, back in the main field, uh, Joe Cooper and a few of the other climbers are mixing it up, trying to reduce that gap. It was about 10 minutes going into the climb, and then at the top it was about 5 minutes. Uh, but the breakaway just kept on rolling turns pretty well together, uh, basically just rolled turns all day, and uh, ultimately uh, weren't really caught. There wasn't enough organisation from behind. 
Meanwhile, we were just following the move. So you can see we're just sort of following, which makes it very difficult for the other guys to bridge across because they've always got us sort of sitting on the wheels. But we were pretty happy that, uh, you know, one of these guys could get the job done, and Pat Lane did. So he took it out. And uh, in second there is Nathan Elliott of Kenyan Riders Down Under. Had a really good ride. And then Pat ended up uh, just out sprinting Aiden Tuvey for third place. So uh, also picking up the KOM and the sprint. So a pretty good day all around there for the guys in the break. And uh, ended up winning the teams as well. So couldn't get much better than that in the end. Pat Lane goes into the uh, next round of the NRS as leader. And uh, hopefully we can keep that up. Thanks, guys. Until next time.